2021 Vitus Vitesse Evo. A couple of weeks ago I was unfortunate enough to have two of my bikes stolen from my shed. Luckily they were insured but instead of just getting like for like replacements I decided to push the boat out and get myself a brand new race bike. Here's a rundown of the build. The frame is the Vitesse Evo Carbon SL which Vitesse claim is the lightest and stiffest frame set ever. Apparently they worked with local lads Ed Clancy and Scott Thwaites to help make the bike 10% lighter and 34% stiffer. It came with the ultra reliable Shimano 105 group set, however I've already upgraded to the Ultegra chain set which I've taken off my winter bike. It came fitted with Prime's lightweight aluminium tubeless ready wheels and Schwabe Pro 1 tubeless ready tyres. And it's finished off with Prime's aluminium aero bar and lightweight stem. First ride on the Vitesse Evo today. Uh, I've got three hours to do um, with three times 15 minutes tempo. Uh, so sitting in zone three, just chilling really. Decided to head out towards Castleford and then loop back around to kind of like North Leeds via like um, Garfus and stuff. And then yeah, back back around to uh, back home. Beautiful autumn morning. Colours are just absolutely amazing. I just love this time of year when the leaves are um, yeah changing from uh, green to browns, oranges, reds, all of this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's just great. Uh, probably not the best day to be out on a brand new bike, but because um, it's a bit wet under under things, so it's gonna get a bit dirty. But bikes are made to be ridden, aren't they? The next uh, 15 minutes of tempo is coming up, so I better put the camera away and uh, get to it. Now after only riding the bike for a couple of hours it's really hard to give a verdict on what I actually think about it, however I think it's one of the best bikes I've ever ridden. It did take a little bit of getting used to, I think the, what, the bars are slightly wider than I have on my winter bike and the shifters are slightly bigger in the hands due to the hydraulic disc hoses. And if I compare it to my previous carbon bikes that I've ridden, yeah, which I really didn't get on with because it just felt, every time I was out of the saddle doing any sprinting, it felt a little bit spongy and I felt like I was losing some power. I didn't feel that at all in any of the sprints that I did in the ride today. Hopefully I'll be able to give you a more in-depth review in a couple of weeks or months when I've ridden the bike a bit more and kind of got used to it. But yeah, you'll be happy to know I won't be keeping this one in the shed. That's it for this week's video. I'll see you in the next one.